Right, with my previous tutorial still rendering, as in I've gone straight onto this one, uh, you uh, are joining me for the inking tutorial, which I'm doing as part of a bit of an apology to all of those people who searched for my video uh, for a tutorial on Photoshop and annoyingly came up with a demonstration of me drawing at about 60 times the speed that I usually do it. Um, if you've been following the tutorials, you've seen that I've fleshed this one out head and shoulders. I've got arms, legs, a bit of an abdomen there. Um, and uh, I've uh, finished. The Ooh, oh, I missed something. He needs a shirt under his jacket. Forgot that. Um, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Now that we're on to the inking stage things get a lot more fun and uh, there'll be a lot more definition to things. Now we're going to add a new layer so we go down to here, add a new layer and we're going to type it, uh, label it um, inks because this is where we ink things as in with an ink. Now uh, remember we had the brushes window, remember usually it's up here but I've got it here because I'm strange like that and uh, we're going to take off other dynamics so it no longer goes softer, so it's more like a pen and less like a pencil. And uh, we're going to change the brush size as well. I'm going to go down to 5, I think, because 9's a bit big for the size of drawing I've got here. And we're going to go back over to layers, check we're on the la right layer. Keep checking you're on the right layer. You don't want to go to the wrong layer and muck it all up, because then that you'll be really really angry. I know from experience. Now, there's one layer I forgot. Between the inks and the pre-inks, so go down to pre-inks and select a new layer. We're going to use the bucket tool. Now that's, uh, I call it the bucket tool. It's actually fill, I think. I think that's its official name. You might have a box, if you're opening Photoshop up for the first time, you have a box that has a sort of gradient fill. If you hold it down, you'll be able to slick one or the other. That's the gradient tool there. So if you have a box like that, click on that and hold it until you get the option to choose paint bucket. Use paint bucket and um, obviously I'm hoping you knew a little bit about how to use Photoshop because I'm using stuff that you, you, you need to know how to, to you need to know it to draw. <laughs> so just go through the motions. Now we've got a foreground color here and a background color. You draw with the foreground color nothing happens with the background color I think the other than it's stored. We're going to flip those around so we're now going to draw in white. This is because I want to fill the entire page with white. Oh my god he's mad he's hidden all of his quite weird sketches. But no what we're going to do is we're going to go to here this is the opac... O op op I can't say this word that's just great. This word that hopefully you can make out. If not, it, it's, it's spelled O P A C I T Y. Opacity or opacity? Op I don't know how to say it. You want to select a number somewhere around about 50. I'm going to go with 45. And that makes everything softer. It, uh, everything that was once black is now a sort of darkish grey and all the darkish greys have gone into a sort of lesser grey and it all looks more grey. We're going to go back to the brush tool, we're going to go back to the inks layer, we're going to go back to black by pressing this little squiggly arrow thing. And we're going to zoom back in, going to drag back up to the drawing and we're going to zoom quite yeah, we're going to zoom in quite a long way. Now third is good because he doesn't he he's a pretty basic character. He doesn't have a lot of 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 uh of shujo manga crazy lines everywhere. He's a he's a very um simple character to draw, so he's going to be quite quick. And uh uh we've got um and and it it let's just draw. Now we, you just follow the follow the line that you want. The harder you press the thicker the line will be. You can obviously use a thicker brush than I am. You can use a thinner brush than I am. And you want to basically follow your sketch. It depends how accurate to what you wanted you made your sketch layer. Mine's a very loose sketch. 
just shows where I wanted things. Sometimes I do a detailed sketch. Sometimes I do more than what more than just one sketch layer. But you you just draw like you would with a pen. Very the very the pressure you're putting on it from time to time. And you can completely ignore what you drew if you wanted to on the lower layers. You can draw what you like. If you make a mistake or, or think you've done it wrong, you can you can rub it out, for instance I've got two lines wrong there. Go to the eraser tool or press E on your keyboard and you can rub that out without uh, damaging the lower layers. You'll find that my eraser tool is a block. Um, usually it's a brush. You can change that by selecting mode. Brushes is fine as well, pencil fine, but I like a block because it's big and blocky. <laughs> Um, and we're just gonna, gonna follow it round, gonna fill in all the lines that we want, get it all working nicely. Get it all. Obviously, the results that you have will be different from mine, depending on your art style. Mine's a very crude, some might say, very not necessarily basic style but it's 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 simple and it can be nice depending on how much effort I'm putting into this into it this this isn't a particularly awful piece of uh, artwork and does not help that my processor is almost entirely devoted to rendering the last one last tutorial and we just want to keep going until we've got everything that we wanted inked Um, you probably don't want to watch me ink everything, so I'll just finish off this bit, and then I'll go into the other interesting quirk of how I draw in Photoshop. Now, as you, as I said earlier, I didn't add much to the eyes, and if you notice, I l completely. Oh, I also left out this hair. Let me just draw this hair in. We okay, hair's in. Okay. Uh. Like I was saying earlier, I completely left out the eyes in the sketch, and I've left out the eyes here. I'm going to add the eyes in now. Oops. So go up to your inks layer, press new layer, label it eyes, zoom in, and this is where I draw the face. Um, I like to draw the face on a different layer because. Uh, um, well, because I tend to make mistakes with the face. I'm not particularly good at faces. They tend to be very simple. And as you can see, it's not particularly brilliant. So I'm going to rub it all out with the eraser tool. Going to get rid of it all. It's all gone. It's all gone. And I'm going to put it all back in with being slightly different, perhaps. And that's still not working well, so I'm going to rub it out again. This could go on for a while, so I'm going to stop it there. And you basically do that until everything you wanted inked is inked. And it, and then you just go down to layer, bring the op opacity back up to 100, all your lesser levels disappear, because you've got a nice white background, and you've got lovely black inks unless your drawing is terrible like mine appears to be. I'm going to continue to blame it on statistics. Right, so, uh, that's this tutorial. Join me next time, when I'll have hopefully finished this, or got a better one, and I'll teach you how to colour. I probably won't do it today, I'll probably do it another time. Might do another picture for it, might not. Dunno. If, it, if I can get this one to look nice, which I might not, might, but I might not, then I'll colour this one, if not, we'll colour a different one. One that you'll actually want to look at. <laughs> okay, that's 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 it.